Cavs, the people like it. Thank you very much. Hi, right. I'm Peter. Nice to meet you. How y'all doing? I'm CEO and co-founder of Else, the People Magnet. It's a social discovery app, seems to be all the rage these days. Uh, as opposed to other social discovery apps, we actually provide you with new relevant people around you, as opposed to existing content and friends around you. And we enable you to influence the results you're getting, instead of just shipping any old person that we can find your way. So, how did we arrive here? We actually did an MVP in a month with about 50 60 people that we sort of persuaded, partly random strangers. We ran a lot of A and B tests. We also faked a lot of functionality just to see if they wanted to press it. And um, what we also do in our app today is that we allow you to set interests and activities and criteria um, that you want to find in other people around you. And it's for all you who's here and have a lot of people to see and a lot of things to do in a very limited time. So you just slot in all the interests and activities that you'd like to see in other people, the kinds of people you'd like to find, and we'll notify you only when we find these people. And when we do, you can find them, you can browse the social profile on Foursquare, uh, Twitter, and uh, Facebook. LinkedIn is on the road right You can get it on the App Store right now. Look for gas. That's what I'm looking for right now. Now, thank you. Awesome. Thanks. Now, the, the, the good news is, this sounds like a killer app. The bad news is, I just downloaded Highlight. So Congratulations. Why, okay. so why would I be finding Gauss instead of the 15 other um, kind of connection apps that just launched in the last could I 35 you, seconds? Could I ask a passionate personal question? Do you care about your battery life? My what life? Battery life with your iPhone? Yes. We don't suck your battery drive for once. And how do I know that the other apps are sucking my battery life? I blame it on Apple, don't I? All right. I can just talk about what we do. Okay. Uh, of what so, others do. And the other thing is other social discovery services don't enable you to influence your results. They just shove you and they shove anything they'll find that they find as well, not what you might find as well. How are you going to create demand? Right now we're here, we're trying to... <laughs> okay, there's demand in this room, all right? Okay, who, who here would like to download the house? Okay. Yeah. So, I think this is a great category. You sounds like you did a good chunk of all the classic things you're supposed to do, A-B testing, uh, talking to users. The biggest problem for web and mobile apps, once you do all that, is still how do you rise above the noise? There are hundreds of thousands of apps, and you need activities here, other things. Are you guys giving out magnets? We're giving out magnets, we're sending out magnets, we're hustling, we're shaking hands, we're doing everything pirate style, we bootstrap out of Europe. Right. So we're doing everything we can, so I hope I'll see all of you on the house, go to the App Store, an Android version is coming on soon. Great. So I would probably have an announcement that said there were so many people using Gauss at South by Southwest that the Earth's magnetic field shifted, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I, and I would put it out as a straight release and see if you could get it picked up. Given the state of the press today, I hope there's no one in the room, that you probably could get, and you need a map of the Earth's magnetic field being distorted from Austin based on the number of iPhone uh, downloads. So thank you. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. Austin, Texas, the new North Pole. There you go. Here's your book. Thank you. Good luck. So what part of the book should he be thinking about? I mean, he's done all the he's minimum viable product, did the A-B testing. Well, at least I'll but so this really is book. a get customers problem. You know, on, on the web, um, the, the problem is not only building something that people want, it's getting noticed by what people want. I think there are some, there's probably more great products unnoticed. There's probably a business that somebody wants to bundle all the unnoticed great products. Um, because the web requires um, a set of skills that a lot of developers just don't have, which is promotion um, and demand creation, because what you're trying to do is acquire and activate as many users as you can, as quick as you can, because this is a uh, crowded category. But it's not quite clear there's a not dominant player yet. So Gauss has a real opportunity. Yeah, as soon as you say that, you know, you, you see Apple touting all these ads, you know, over 500,000 apps, over 600,000 apps, and I'm thinking, Oh my God, how do you break through to the top of that? I, I think Microsoft is going to have a real opportunity here because they could say only five useful apps on our platform. They're not a sponsor, are they? Or, oh yeah, they're a sponsor. Oh, oh, oh sorry. But you know what? They know it. 
So they're working on it. Don't bought, you worry. If they bought the book, they would really know. Right? They did. Oh, they're giving them away with your stickers on it. So maybe bombers should read one. Huh? <laughs> well, you can call them if you want. All right, who's next up? Uh, Debbie from 